Do you need to get your hands on some powerful service provider level uh, routers? Well, wouldn't we all like to do that? Uh, in the uh, absence of being able to get your hands on real SP, iOS XR, Cisco gear, uh, you're going to be looking at virtual environments, one of which CML, Cisco Modeling Labs. I'm going to show you how to get XRV 9K to boot up successfully in CML. If you are following my channel and you're subscribed and you're getting notifications and you're seeing whenever I drop new videos, you may have seen that I did an early video where I showed a bunch of different types of nodes that you can add into CML, at which point I tried to add XRV 9K and it just booted over and over and over again. Since then, uh, I've had more memory added to the virtual environment that hosts CML and I can add more memory to the node that runs the XRV 9K operating system. So I'm going to show you what I do to change it from its defaults to get it to boot up. Let me pause and take a moment and thank you all for supporting the channel. Uh, it's an encouragement to me that there are people out there that want to see this content. I thank you all for the comments and the words of encouragement and affirmation that what I'm putting out is actually useful. Nobody wants to do something that nobody cares about, right? Or <laughs> nobody needs. So uh, I'm putting this out for uh, the community and for coworkers and just whoever can benefit from this. So uh, continue subscribing. We're growing at 539 subscribers today in October of 2021. And uh, continue watching, continue sharing with others, and I'll keep putting out new content as time permits. Okay, here's the old video that I did where I tried to get XRV9K to uh, load in CML, and it was just rebooting over and over again. I'll put this in the pop-out cards or the comments below. Right around the 10 minute and 30 second mark, you'll see that it just boots over and over again. Okay, let's get down to it. We're back in CML. This will look familiar for those of you who have seen the previous CML videos that I've done. I've added back XRV 9K and let's hit the play button. Let's, well, no, I'm not gonna hit the play button yet. I'm gonna show you, first of all, the resources. You can now see that I have 96 gigs of RAM assigned to this machine. There are 12 CPUs, okay? There's the AMD, 12 AMD uh, Epic processors. And uh, here's the memory, 96 gigs. And over here it says VMs, no CPUs, no memory has been allocated. We are not running any VMs. There's a total of eight VMs in here. And I think they're talking about these eight VMs here. Uh, I don't know if you include this unmanaged switch as a VM, so maybe that's what they're talking about. Uh, so anyway, that's what we currently have. Click on the white space. You now will see a list of your nodes. Click nodes here. Go down, scroll up or down, find XR9KV, otherwise known as XRV9K. Click on it. And right there under simulate, you see image definition. You see that it's going to run uh, XR 7.2.2, pretty recent version there. Under compute, if you put your, your uh, pointer in the RAM field, actually, you're not able to click in there at the moment. So I think what you need to do is wipe it. So, oh, you know what? I'm going to show you something first of all. When you go to Add Nodes and you float over X, uh, iOS XRV 9000, it tells you it's recommended to run 20 gigs and four virtual CPUs. Well, I'm going to show you what it's currently got. Remember, 20 and four. 20 gigs and four virtual CPUs. So let's go back to it. Let's uh, wipe it. Get rid of this box. Let's wipe it. Whenever you wipe it, did you see how that highlights itself now? It lights itself up. So now you can change things. If you had various versions of XR, I think you could possibly change it there. Uh, but 
what I want to draw your attention to is now you can click in RAM and CPUs and CPU limit. Before you couldn't do that, so you have to wipe it first. So there's the 20 gigs of RAM default number. There's the four virtual CPUs default number, and it uses 100% CPU. I'm going to change this. Earlier, I changed it to 32 gig. And if you take 1024, actually, if you take the number that's in there, 2480, 2480, and you divide it by 1024, 20 gigs of RAM. So 1024 is the multiplier. So if you want to get to, say for instance, 32 gigs of RAM times 1024, and you wanted to use that round, that nice uh, number, it's 32768. So let's put that in there. Click the checkbox to apply it. I'm going to pick six CPUs. Apply that, and I'm going to leave it at 100%. Apply that. Then start it. Now you see the little green circle there. It is starting. We are waiting for the terminal. Ah, there we go. There's the terminal. Click on it. Open console. It is starting to boot up. I'm going to start a clock. I'm going to start a timer. So we've already probably elapsed. Uh, 15 seconds or so and I wish I could find my stopwatch there we go okay so let's just say it's been about 15 seconds so now we're looking at about 20 seconds and so let's let's watch this thing boot up and see what we get I'll pause the video for a moment so it is still booting up and we are watching the progress and I want you to see something in the background here. If you go to the console and you roll up a little bit, you will see 32 gigs of RAM and four, excuse me, six CPUs. So the system is seeing those numbers that we set. Okay, we are moving up on nine minutes and we finally get some uh, progress this thing takes a while to boot up. So once you start it, you can walk away, warm your coffee up or something. But we get a message, Telnet Escape character, uh, trying 127.001, connected to local host. And so we're seeing progress, okay? Uh, one other thing I want you to see, when you click down here in the resources, you see VM stats, allocated virtual CPUs is six, 32 gigs of RAM. We're running one VM. So we can see that this one VM, this is the only one we're running. Everything else is shut down. And so we see those resources. All right. I will show one other thing that when I was previously booting uh, or attempting to boot XR V9K with 20 gigs of RAM and four virtual CPUs, this is the message that I got right after you wait for a while when you see the these uh, console and auxiliary messages I get a bug unable to handle kernel paging and so we don't see that anymore it progresses and it looks like it is uh, almost done we're sitting at a little over 10 minutes now Re remember I started the clock probably 15 or 20 seconds after the fact and so there we go we're presented with your typical iOS XR default config where it wants you to set a root system name. And there we go. I set it to Cisco, Cisco one, because you pat your password has to be six characters. And there we are. Show, uh, install, commit, summary. We are running iOS XR 7.2.2. And we see we have all the pies, package, package installation envelopes for the uh, manageability pie, the broadband node gateway, uh, EIGRP, OSPF, multicast, all of them. I don't even I don't even know I, I don't recall what some of these are. And so uh, we are ready to go. I think I'll connect this and just give it a quick test. 
Yep, it's working. I booted up the CSR1000V. I created a link between XR9KV-O and CSR1000V-O. And you can see, show ARP, that I can ping between the two. So this is good. Finally got XRV9K operating system to boot up adding more resources. So I don't know if you could have gotten away with maybe just adding four more gig. So taking it from its default of 20 gig to 24 gigs of RAM, maybe that would have been sufficient. Maybe someone can try it out there uh, and post a comment. Or maybe you didn't need to go from four CPUs to six. Unsure. But this is just uh, what I did. I gave it 32 gigs of RAM, six CPUs, and it booted up. All right, well, I hope this was helpful to someone out there, and uh, I look forward to the next one.